My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Right here in the buzzing suburb of Seapoint in Cape Town, one of the most desirable areas to own property in the country is an old apartment block that was once the heart of the community and now is in need of some TLC. Now inside this grand century old building, there are four apartments waiting for four up and coming design duos to completely reimagine, reinvigorate and reinvent them. All while maintaining the building's soul and heritage and under the relentless scrutiny of our expert panel of judges. From all corners of the country, design hopefuls have sent in their entries, showcasing the incredible talent that South Africa has to offer. Now we've hand-selected our top eight duos will take on the challenge of a lifetime. Prove that they've got what it takes to create world-class designs under pressure and secure their spot as one of our final four design duos. With four in Cape Town and four in Joburg, the pressure is on. Our journey begins just outside Cape Town in Somerset West as our first four potential duos arrive at CTM, ready to prove they've got what it takes to earn a spot in the final top four. I am super, super excited about being here, walking down the aisles, seeing everybody, seeing the contestants, the nerves. It's really, it's in. really setting in. It's a little bit surreal. <laughs> Now, the task is simple. You have three days to completely design and decorate a bathroom space from scratch. Each duo must transform one of these identical empty shells. The unit specifications have been provided to them in advance in order to prepare their bathroom designs. What you can expect from our team is surprise and yeah just playfulness for sure i think we we love to infuse a space with the people we are and our personalities you'll get five thousand rand to spend at buco for the five thousand rand in cash compliments of capitec and thirty five thousand rand to spend right here at ctm from our team you can expect um high level of detailing yeah a mix of aesthetics and functionality as well oh. for sure Show us your personality through your design and impress our judges with something innovative, functional and beautiful. And you could be bettering your future with a grand prize of 300,000 rand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we want to win my design rules. The other team won't see what hit them because we are the dark horses. We better watch out. <laughs> On top of this, a further 100,000 Rand for the viewer's choice, all courtesy of Capitec Business. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> you ready to shake and make? Yes. yes. All right, well, in three, two, one, let's go! And good luck! <laughs> My name is Tabang Malamato. I'm 30 years old. I'm uh, originally from Pretoria, and I've moved to Cape Town. My name is Mogani Puzo. I'm originally from Joburg, but I moved to Cape Town 10 years ago, and I'm 29 years old. Mongani and Tabang are taking inspiration from nature, focusing their design on a forest theme with natural textures like wood and stone. Hey, gentlemen, how's it going? Oh, hi, hi. Are you good? Are we making big decisions yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think this green, yeah, speaks to us. Yeah. yeah. So, since when we are, we believe in less is more and we are inspired by African identity. So it goes with the forest, uh, the greening, yeah. I like that, incorporating some culture, some realness into this. What do you think you have that's going to set you apart from the rest of the teams and possibly allow you to claim that top prize and win this thing? I think we're sensitive uh, when it comes to design and those little details, like if it's not according to what we think it should be, and then we're going to have to redo it again. So, yeah, we have the love and passion for it, yeah. You're trying to say you're perfectionist, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I'm Hannah Morgan. I'm 24 years old, and I'm a designer and videographer. I'm Keaton Messina. I'm 31 years old. I'm a product manager. Grew up in a small town called Hans Bay, but I live and work in Cape Town now. 
Keaton and Hannah plan to keep their design simple and classic, using retro elements to bring vintage class to the space. Our vision for the bathroom is simplicity meets eclecticism. I'm taking inspiration from Victorian bathrooms and also kind of wanting to create a blank canvas that we can play with. It's all gonna come together really beautifully. My name is Mongi Zimsomi. I am an architectural professional and a construction project manager. I'm Pumele Nene. Um, I'm an interior designer and 3D visualization specialist. Mpumalelo and Mongezi plan to draw on their architectural and design experience by creating a modern space with bespoke design elements. We're in a box now, so you see it's quite a bit different from what we have on our plans, but um, we can just move around things and, and, and see what we can do, but it, it looks like something that we can work on. My name is Yashna Balwan. I am 34 years old and I'm originally from Richards Bay, but I live in Cape Town for the past seven years. I'm Melissa Jerris and I'm from Johannesburg. I'm 34 years old. I'm originally from Stanger and she is too, so we are farm girls. <laughs> She's just not willing to admit that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yashna and Alyssa aim to create a spa experience by bringing a sense of calm and tranquility to their bathroom, along with contemporary design. Hey ladies, how's it going? Hi! Listen, I wanted to talk to you before we really dive into the chaos of things. How are you feeling about the challenge? We're excited. Yeah, we're really ready to do this. I think we've got our idea um, and after seeing the space, um, I think it's going to fit. I think everything's going to work. work out. I can hear a lot of noise, which means everybody's getting stuck in. And when it comes to the two of you working together, regards to your relationship, how do you think that this is going to play out, considering that you are family, right? I think it's just going to make our relationship a lot closer. I mean, we're practically sisters, although we're cousins. I think we've always been creative from the time we were kids. Yeah. We spend a lot of time in each other's houses mm. because our dads are brothers. And so we... Practically we, sisters. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hello. making big choices here. Are we choosing a mirror? Yes. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the best team of them all? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the duos are getting ahead as quickly as possible, carefully using their allocated budgets. With the 5,000 Rand cash from Cappy Tech, we've decided to install a vertical garden in our bathroom. And we obviously gonna use the money for the finishing touches, so bringing more of a homely feel to our bathroom, really making it a sanctuary. I'm just uh, painting some of the sides black for now. So we need a darker color behind that vertical garden so that we don't see this newspaper, <laughs> but also so that it get, creates more depth for that uh, vertical garden. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> so we didn't use uh, a pot, so we opted for a shower, which I think will save us more money. <laughs> so we can use that money for something else. We've got quite a simple palette happening at the moment, black and white, but then we're gonna add a pop of color. So we've added an abo green bath, toilet and basin. Yeah, we're trying to just bring, you know, some quirkiness as well. Yeah, and we are wanting to kind of reimagine an old bathroom. Like, I'm sure you're familiar with old green bathrooms, maybe at your grandma's house. We're doing it differently and bringing it to the modern age. We, we got a very ambitious idea to build a sink from scratch. So we're basically um, designing the sink from a, from a towel. Uh, so it's similar to a normal basin, but then it's just that it's made out of towels and it's made from scratch. Uh, designed more like sort of uh, modern vanity in a way. Currently, we're just trying to see if uh, the towels that we selected are matching, like have a good color combination, as well as we're trying to see if our pattern will also work. Our bath carcass has just arrived and it is just a little bit bigger than the Challenge space. Challenge number one. We intended. Yeah. Okay, who's got a chainsaw? <laughs> I wonder if we even sacrificed 100%. this yeah. end. Meanwhile, Mpumalelo and Mongezi learn that building a basin from scratch is tougher than they thought. What we didn't take into consideration is that it needed a substrate. Um, so now we're trying to just fix that substrate before we actually build a structure around it. We've got to finish on time, everything is going to be good. Yeah. I love the fact that these are larger sized tiles because they take up more space, which means we can get through these walls quicker. Quicker installation. 
Tabang and Bongani head out to Buco to put some of their 5,000 Rand budget to good use. So we're thinking on the wall we should put wallpaper, but it might not work. So we, th we think we're going to stick with the original plan on painting the wall. So the next step is to paint this wall. So right here. We bought three samples from Buco. Different types of greens. So we just want to see which one will react best with our tiles. And then, yeah, maybe we can leave it overnight and see how it looks like tomorrow. Day one of the challenge comes to an end. With only two more days to complete their bathrooms, the duos are going to need a good night's rest. Just like that. It's day two at CTM Somerset West as our Cape Town hopefuls continue creating their unique bathroom spaces. Day two is here. We are really excited. <laughs> Day two, Hannah, how are we feeling? I'm feeling really good. We made great progress yesterday. I think we might be further than the other contestants, which is surprising. It's a small one. Considering we're the wild card yes. at the moment. Our goals for today are yeah. to, I think, finish tiling the space, test out our fittings. Yeah, I think because we're a little bit ahead, we have time to play with where we're gonna put the basin and the toilet. Our plan is to push, 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 push. So we're gonna do our best by the end of the day to finish all our tiling. Day one went well. Uh, we're just hoping that we can keep the very same energy that we had the first day. Yes. And yeah, we will be able to complete the project if we have that mindset. The small stuff always takes time, like installing the LED lights. Yeah. But if we get that out of the way, and then the bigger stuff will be like very easy to finish. Yeah. We have this whole entire back feature wall that we still need to put in subway type tiles. So that's yeah. making us like nervous a little bit. I think that's going to be like the biggest task for yeah. today is yeah. getting this yeah, wall done. done. Because if this wall can get done, yeah. then the other stuff should be quick. And that's the biggest highlight of our piece, I yeah. think. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to today. <laughs> So, so the bathroom layers, the idea is that the entrance is going to be here. Um, so the person is going to walk through here. Our basin is going to be right here on the right hand side, so our vanity. And the toilet is going to be here, and then the person is going to have a bath here. Um, we decided to do the first book because um, we just wanted to do something different. And also we saw this tile and we really loved it, but they didn't have enough for us to actually use it on the wall. So we decided to do the first book with it. What is it about design that you both love and it's keeping you so stimulated? I think design like transforms like ordinary moments into something exceptional. I feel like you can just notice when something there's like been intention behind it. I think we yeah, we also just love being surrounded by beautiful things, beautiful spaces. We appreciate attention to detail. Like there's no reason why even a toilet roll holder should be basic or generic, mm. you know? There's there's can be beauty in every single detail of, you know, if we're tying everything to like interior, yeah, it's just... Every corner has every been corner. paid attention to. Oh, and right has that. to be considered. Yeah. This first coat it takes a while to dry and yeah. I'm concerned that we need to install our washing basin. I'm not sure whether I should install it today or tomorrow. If we can maybe paint now and wait like for four hours. For four hours. And then we'll apply the second coat after that. Okay. I think we should, we should yeah. start and not waste time. Yeah. yeah. We're working on our bespoke sink. So it's a custom made van, it's a sink. We're kind of making sure that everything is cut precisely because the tailor won't know exactly how to cut it properly if you don't do the measurements for him. We've got one more tile to go and then, and then we're it's done. done. And then we're done here and then we just have that. I'm very, oh, very excited. I'm also. We're going to put one shelf there and we're going to put the other shelf for the white tile. I'm just a little bit worried, Ali, because I really don't... I think that's going to be a problem. I don't think it's going to fit. So this is where we want it to be. The problem right now is the shelf sticks out a bit too out from the wall. And if we're putting a toilet 
directly below this. There might be an issue when you're getting off of the toilet, hitting your head on the shelf. So we wanted to be a bit practical. Keeping with the retro theme of their bathroom, Hannah and Keaton head out to search for something special at a local vintage store. We decided to come thrift for our lights because we're looking for something specific, something very retro. Yeah, I'm hoping that we're going to find what we need. Um, yeah, these are cute. Oh my word. Like maybe on the side cute of the bath. Set, yes. Ooh. That could work. That's kind of different. With a little bit of a scrub it up dub. Yeah. Yeah. These are super cute. The shape of them. Because everybody's going for, you know, the classic like round this fortune telling ball. Something no one else has. I love it, I love it, I love it. Put that okay. in my basket. <laughs> There's some collaborative energy going on between the two of us, okay. you know. Not, not your yeah. first rodeo, right? Not yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be four. That's gonna stand you in good stead, I think, for that grand prize. We're talking about three hundred thousand Rand in yeah, cash up for money. grabs. Yeah. And a further one hundred thousand Rand for the viewer's choice. Compliments of Capitech. Yeah. How's this gonna potentially better your future? Yeah, we're going to use the prize money to actually help create a more professional structure for our business, take it further. Uh, I mean, we want more clients out after this, so we're going to use this as a platform as well to, to, to grab the opportunity. We're going to use these tiles because they're, okay, they're having a conversation with the bespoke tiles that we're going to use for our vanity. So we're kind of going with a blue flow, nice veins that are going to be um, on our focal wall. Okay, I think our progress is looking very good. We have the best tailor in the world. Yeah. I think we'll be done by, <laughs> by this afternoon. If we can get the tiles done, then we'll be done by mostly everything by today. Yeah. Then tomorrow we'll just fit the sandway. We're doing a herringbone type pattern, but we're using two different types of tiles yes. from CTM. So we're doing something a bit unconventional. It's not off the shelf. We're trying to combine the two to get this amazing black and white pattern that you see there using these two tiles. So we just tried it out, so it works, so we're really happy. So good. Yeah, yeah. so far we had a slight challenge with the vanity structure, the frame structure for it that was made out of a timber caucus. Uh, we had to kind of trim it because the measurements weren't really accurate. But anyway, that's done already, so we're now installing it. As Mpumalelo and Mongezi persevere, Tabang and Bongani discover minor adjustments can lead to major problems. We realized our mistake when we started uh, with the tiling. We didn't set our tiles in a way that will be convenient for us. So now we're going to have uh, more tiles that are cut than what we've planned before. And I think it also affected by us changing the design on site. I think if we had it planned before, it was supposed to be easy for us. But now, yeah, we're struggling to wrap our minds on what to, which option we should go with. Hannah and Keaton seem to be ahead of the game with enough time to catch a breather and reflect on the challenge so far. We're get away. So well. Yeah, it's nice to get away from the noise for a second. Yeah. Um, once again, the beauty of thrifting. Like, who would have thought that those would be there for us? It's exactly what we need. It's just unique. Like, I mean, our whole concept is simple, simple and timeless. Classic. But then we've got these little edgy yeah, moments. Yeah, so like make it unique. People definitely pay attention to things that are different. So I'm not sorry that we are standing out in this way or doing something a bit against the grain. Mm -hmm. We're staying true to ourselves and I think that's the most important thing. Find your wonderful. <laughs> Jacobs. Wunderbar. Whether you're looking for a lock up and go, or a settle down and grow, an office for your booming business, or a safe haven, we have a space for you. It's still day two of the three day challenge as our Cape Town design hopefuls race against time to transform a compact empty shell into a designer bathroom. I think the contrast with the matte black tile and the gloss tile looks really, really mm. nice. Good. I'm just a little bit concerned about the time because these tiles are very small and so to tile this is going to take a really, really long time. 
So fingers crossed. Yeah. As long as we get this done by today, yep. then we should be okay. Definitely. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We have made great progress with the tiling. Mark has gone all the way up the bath. We've gone for a black edge trim down the corner and all the sides, which is a small detail, but I think really continues the seamless magic we've got going for on our bath. And while he was doing that, we were away thrifting and we found these lights secondhand, which are exactly the look and finish that we wanted. Kind of a frosted feel. Initially, we wanted just like the normal round glass dome. And yeah, then we found these and we were like, actually, Something different. Yeah, it's adding a little bit of modernness as well. Yeah, yeah. which will add a nice edge to the space. Modern thrifting. Modern thrifting. <laughs> With regards to the tiling process, we are using an abnormal sort of size. We underestimated the process because it thought it would be much quicker and easier since they are much bigger. But again, the detail in the process of installing is much more intense. I think it came out pretty good. Um, this was the whole idea, just bringing the whole story together. The challenges keep mounting for Tabang and Bongani, with their paint color turning out not quite as they'd imagined. So we expected it to be darker. I think we might have gotten a wrong mix. So, but we, instead of stopping, we just decided that let's continue paint and see how it will look like tomorrow when it has dried. Because sometimes when you're still painting, the paint might look lighter, but when you're done, you come back the next morning, it's a bit darker again. With us going for the more dainty tiles, the more detailed tiles on the floor with the Victorian tiles, it needs more grout. So me and Hannah have really had to suit up, get our hands dirty and grout for our lives. <laughs> We're not the best at estimation. So we thought we needed eight bags of grout. We got here and obviously Mark, our foreman, has informed us that two would have sufficed. So, you know, we've thought about maybe selling this to the other contestants with a markup. So. You know, let's just see what we can do. Let's get dirty. I've never grouted in my life. <laughs> but there's a first time for everything. Thank you, Alfred. It's not as smooth <laughs> Alfred's on standby. <laughs> We try to get as involved as we can, yeah. um, but we also are making a bit of a mess. <laughs> I told you, I'm not the best grouter. <laughs> Why is mine coming out weird here? Yeah, okay, just, yeah, just okay, take okay, your I'll carry on, I'll carry on. First time grouting, very satisfying. I feel like I'm better at this than I thought I was going to be. So we've gone for white grout to kind of keep the flow of the space. And so far, so good. It's looking amazing. I'm happy with our choices. I mean, we've got seven more bags where that came from. <laughs> Does anyone need some grout? <laughs> I'm cutting the tiles individually to help the tiler so that we can get this wall done. Because we have to get the wall done by the end of today. If we don't get it done by the end of today, we're in trouble. We're stressed out right now because we haven't completed what we need to. And I think it's kind of getting to us right now. I hate dialing. We just did a little recon. And <laughs> oh. um, you see these beautiful little piles? <laughs> They've added up. And yeah, we're, we're teetering on going on overboard. Budget, on budget. So. Yeah. Back at Buco, Mpumalelo and Mongezi are in search of a unique paint to complement their luxurious tiles. We had decided that we needed to do a um, textured wall, so something different from the flat and smooth surfaces of the tiles and the basins and everything. So we just wanted something to feel a bit more earthy, so we wanted to do the patterns on the wall and all that. We're also taking advantage of what was already there. There was some sort of newspaper backing, and we decided, why not just do something rough and uh, create some sort of a texture, in a way, and we did that. We haven't been as progressive as we had hoped we would today. The tiling process, because it's a bit bespoke, took way longer than we actually anticipated. So we're hoping by tomorrow we'll push enough to get everything sorted in time. 
tomorrow, so the first thing we're going to start with the wall cladding and then uh, finish off the installation of the bespoke vanity and then just go get some styling and decor items just to finish off the space. Today we expected to be done with the tiling, but unfortunately didn't. But we're still confident that we'll tile and also the wall. Yeah, we're not happy with this color. The green color looks horrible. I can't even look at it. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow I uh, will definitely go mix a new sample and hopefully it will come out the way we imagine it. End of day two and I am feeling a little stressed. Not a little, a lot. Yeah. We expect it to be further along than we are, but the pattern took a lot longer, okay. I think, than we anticipated. Yeah. So, I mean, we grouted the side walls, but we still have to tile the floor and we still need to finish the box area. And then we're trying to be I mean, I don't even think, yeah, we're trying to... But there's not a lot we can do. We're trying to stay positive. It's a waiting game. If seeing our design hopefuls create beautiful bathroom spaces is inspiring you to relook at your own space, then did you know you could get up to 500,000 Rand in finance from Capitec? I'm out here with Yochi Haman, the manager for Purpose Lending at Capitec. Yochi, plug me in. What's happening here? Give me the lowdown on this offering. So what we've done is we've partnered with CTM to make it more affordable to improve your home and get the quality materials you need. Loans can go up to 500,000 Rand, but it doesn't mean that everybody needs up to 500,000. Lower amounts can also qualify, so we can cater for anything from a small up to a large scale renovation. What exactly does this loan cover? Basically anything on a CTM quote, whether it's materials, transport, installation, anything included in a quote, we're able to finance. We pay funds directly to CTM. You would then just go into the store and shop to your heart's content. How exactly then for someone that like me, I think is definitely going to sign up to this, would I do exactly that? And how long does it take? So you can easily apply in any of our branches. You can go onto the Capitec app onto the CTM website or the Capitec website to apply. Application is quick and simple. You can get it issued within the same day. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, I am at a CTM store, so I'm going to go sign up. Thanks so much for the info, man. Awesome. <laughs> <Cheers. I'll> <laughs> Capitec. Do it all on our app. Just like that. Stand a chance to win a weekend away in the winning apartments with Buco. Dial star 120 star 62800 hash and follow the prompts to enter. Begin with Buco. It's the final day in Cape Town as our hopefuls complete their bathroom spaces to impress the judges and earn the chance to reinvent one of four apartments in a 100-year-old heritage building and claim more than 500,000 Rand in prizes. We feel excited. That's its uh, last day. Uh, a bit of pressure as well because obviously we have to finish everything on time. My anxiety is through the roof. <laughs> The last tile is just going in, so it means our floor is basically done. We just need to grout it. And then at least once it's dry, then we can start installing everything on the walls. We can start installing the garden. We are still needing to put our fittings in, all our avocado green touches. And then our gold taps, bath taps, sink taps, <laughs> yeah. gold fittings. So basically a whole lot. We started putting tiles on the floor. After this, we're gonna start grouting and also apply paint on this wall. Hopefully it will dry on time. The vanity obviously is a bespoke element. You don't find it in every household, but it speaks only to a particular any household. Clientele. Any household. You don't find it in any household, <laughs> but it takes quite some time to create something that's not common. And it was the first time actually creating this sort of products as well. So it wasn't an easy task to execute, but he wanted something completely different and, and bespoke. As Mpumalelo and Mongezi's unique vanity basin unit comes to life, Tabang and Bongani run into issues. I was busy cutting tiles and when I came back, uh, the vanity was not in the right place. I actually didn't look at the drawings, but when they done fitting it, I realized that we need to actually push it up because it's quite low now. Bongani, I guess he was too focused on installing the LED light. He just said, ah, nah, put it in the center. And when I came back, I was so frustrated. It is too low, it is quite low. Ah, sorry for this. 
I'm just painting this backboard black. It's gonna go into the recess shelf because we're running out of time <laughs> to tile that area. First I thought we were on track and then suddenly I realized we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it looks so good. I'm so stoked seeing the basin in the space for the first time. Keith and I have just bought it in. It is looking exactly like we hope. Obviously, you never know how something is going to go when you actually put a vision to space, but I think it looks incredible. We're bringing it back to the 70s. Today, we got a new sample, which looks promising, and this is similar to what we really wanted, the outcome. We have gone for brass and gold fittings. The gold draws inspiration from old Victorian bathrooms, which we've done in the floors and are wanting to bring up onto the walls. We're saving the vertical garden for almost last because we don't want the dust to get onto it. We also want to have this wow factor on our design, so we're leaving it for last. Will it fit? I love it. If that isn't retro, then I don't know what is. Oh. Guys, we've lost a few tiles. <laughs> Somebody call 911. Sudden death. We're going to have arts and craft the situation. And. This you know, is the problem with tiling on day three, is our yes. grass is not set. All right, contestants, this is a time call. You have. One hour remaining. Let's go. Does it fit? Yes. I'm stressing. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> so we're just um, um, putting together the tap uh, that we're going to be using for, for the space. Um, and then we're just going to put it on the, on the wall. And then just waiting for the mirror. And then we're going to put the mirror as well. Just going, so we're going to be done with the sack. Things are getting real. Um, we've got a lot to do, but you know, we're really pushing. And I, yeah. Yeah, we've got to keep calm, I think, but be focused, kind of delegate what everyone needs to do. So we've got a mirror to get up, lights on the wall, graph the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Even talking about it, I'm feeling anxious. Yeah. But we can do it, I know we can. We're just adding the mirrors and we'll add the butt top. Now we're putting on the butt top and then we'll, we'll put, put on the salad seats and then the taps um, and then we'll put on the outdoors and then we, we hopefully want to be done one time. We can do got this. this. We've got the vision. We're almost there. We are we're almost, almost there. there. I think... It's just a few as, more as things. As soon as we're done grouting, I think I'd feel a bit better. And as so, soon as we have the bathtub in, it'll feel better. <laughs> so, uh, so as we said, we wanted a space to, to, for a person to be able to relax. That's why we chose a curvy bathtub. It goes hand in hand with the kind of type of concept that we use. It kind of flows with um, with the water effect and all that. And there is a water effect on the tiles that we use, so we wanted everything to just flow. All right, contestants, it is crunch time. Officially, you have 30 minutes left. Putting the shower window is tough. I think it's one of the challenging uh, moments that we have. Now we are about to install the shower. As we are busy, we just want to make sure whether it, it does align well. So it's making it difficult for, it, uh, for us to align it. But the guys are making sure whether it's uh, working or not. Yeah. We still have to get a mirror up. A mirror, a mirror on the wall, one will to fit. We still have to get lights up. We still have to grout. We still have to polish, you know, our taps and Style, what? Lights, mirror, camera, action, disaster. <laughs> the vanity obviously is a bespoke element. For the first time having done it, I must say we're proud. Could have been a bit better, obviously, if we had more time and uh, a better sort of tactic for execution. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I think we're proud of the end part. Yeah. Very, very proud, very yeah. proud. The wall is done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so leave. happy. That was the main thing. I was so scared about that. We are behind. We still have to install the basin, the taps, and the mirror. So I'm not sure what I will finish on time, but I'm just hoping and will. This is our original bath choice. We made sure with the dimensions of the space that we were given, we will have a bathtub that fits really nicely. And we love a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs>
So we are putting the bathtub in right now. We just need to get the marking for where the tap is going. So we can just put that in quickly and get all the final touches done. All right, contestants, listen up. You have five minutes remaining. The bathroom is coming together. I see it, I see the vision. I'm so excited. We just need to get everything cleaned because that's it. the one thing that's frustrating. Yes, yes, there's dust everywhere and we can't get rid of the dust. Me and Hannah are perfectionists. So, you know, even like something that might seem mundane to someone else, you know, how are we going to fold the towels? If we care. We care and we consider everything, but at the end we've decided to just fold them to the side so that we can see all the detail. I've never panicked like this before, so we're just thinking now we need to focus, focus, focus and not listen to any outside noises and just focus on pushing this project and getting it done. What's going on today I think is the speed on how we are moving with. So I think we managed to achieve a lot of things in this short period of time. Putting that last plant in feels amazing. I know, I know. It just, it's all coming together. Yeah. The guest judges to help decide which four design duos will make it through are group marketing head at the Ital Tile Group, Sadesh Bagalu, along with SAFTA award-winning TV producer, top billings, Patience Stevens. The judges, can you believe it? Cape Town duo's time is up. You guys ready for the countdown? We are. All right, yes, contestants. Yes. This is it, your final call in five, four, three, two, one. Cape Town, your time is up, tools down. Let's go check it out. We are happy with what we came up with. Yeah. It's what yeah. we imagined and yeah, we are very excited and we are grateful for this opportunity. Win or lose, we are still grateful. I think the only thing that we can say to each other is well done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh we, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's Exhaling for the first time in three days. Yeah. It's an exciting, rejuvenating space and yeah. something out of the box. Yeah. Yes. Something out of the CTM the box. box. <laughs> <laughs> Just appreciate how the space looks overall. Yeah, but I think with more time, obviously, we would have done a bit more. But um, yeah, we're happy with what we have so far. I feel that we, we achieved the minimal look in a manner that we actually had planned it out as much as it's not very much in detail as we, we had hoped as an end product, just because of time constraints, you know? But uh, we pushed enough to, to get a product that we are proud of. Well done. I'm so proud that you achieved this. I'm so proud of you. I think everything turned out the way we wanted yeah. it to. Yeah. We didn't have to compromise on anything. On any of our no. details. No. But I'm so happy to have done this with you. I'm happy to have done everything and just plan everything out and go on this process and journey. I think it just makes us closer. So I love that. Oh, that's so cute. I love you. I love you. <laughs>it's great to see your final product but take our judges through your design our theme was forest so that is why you see the green <laughs> there that's why we're also growing green yeah so we had a forest theme and we tried to incorporate it with some natural elements like concrete and also for black chaps we like black chaps work of us yeah and the tiles as well the tiles represent the the wood, the wood uh, timber we just couldn't use timber because we are scared that uh, when it gets wet, it starts to have mold and it. so we just selected tiles that uh, replicate uh, timber. The, we are more inspired by Frank Lloyd, who's an organic architecture. As he once said, that uh, study nature, stay close to nature because it will never fail you. So that's what we try to do here. We try to bring nature after a long day of hard work. When you shower, looking all mm -hmm. at your space, it will calm you down, we believe so. Yeah. I like how you've incorporated the cement look with the wood. I also like how you brought in the trendy emerald green into it, the use of the different shapes that work together in the space. And I think, like you say, it, it definitely is a space that you'd want to, after a long day, get home to and just forget the troubles. So well done. I think the look really worked well. I like the color choices and I think uh, you've pulled off something really great. Well done. Thank you. 
I love the fact that you're both wearing green. You say green is one of your favorite colors and that you reflected this on your stand. So the stand is a reflection of you and your personalities. So that's great. Paul, well, we can only wait for that final decision though, boys. Good luck. Cross in fingers. <laughs> Thank you guys for the opportunity. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Hello. Hannah and Keaton, talk to us about your bathroom and please describe it in detail to our judges. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've gone for a classic meets retro look. You know, they say sometimes less is more, but sometimes more is more. So for the flooring, as you can see, it's a little bit more busy, but then when we go to the walls, it's more simple. So we kind of try to find a balance in between both of those feels. Yeah, and I think even with such a clean space, we've then been able to bring in the pops of color with our Avo bath, basin and toilet. And then we've really wanted to focus on those finer details with our gold finishings, like our towel rails and our taps, especially little pops of color with our plant that really make it feel like home. Now you've both never done anything like this before. Are you happy with your end result? I couldn't be prouder of ourselves. I think this is almost exactly what our mood board that we had mocked up before yeah. looks like. I feel like we've not compromised our vision. We've backed ourselves, even though we don't have the credentials or the credibility to back ourselves. But you know, me and Anna always say like, our taste speaks for itself. Yeah. Good, good. I see you've gone for the classic black and white, bringing in the retro look with the avo color. I see you've used the mosaic to try and take your eye away from the top down to the floor and take you up to the bath, which is good. I feel you could have done a bit more with the accessorizing in terms of how you brought the decor together, but overall a good look. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Yeah, look, for the two of you, it's absolutely impressive that you were able to take your theory and have practicality played out in such a beautiful way. And for someone that's never done it before, you can be proud of this. Well done, guys. Thanks Thank so you much, so Ryle. much. We are optimistic that we're going to make the top four. We've not compromised our vision. We've stuck to what we feel is, you know, going to work in the space. And we've done something beautiful. I think. It shows that we can be trusted with a space, with a budget. We can work timelessly, we can work together and have so much fun along the way. Yeah. Gentlemen, yeah. Bungesi, hey, Bungalelo, how are we doing? We went through a lot of stress on this one, but we've made it and it's your yeah. opportunity to showcase to the judges what your design was all about. Talk to us. Sure. We wanted to go for something a little bit more unique, more bespoke in a way. We went for a larger house. We know a lot of people went for more mosaic type of looks. We also went for a towel and we created vanity out of that. <laughs> Can I just ask, why are you constructing a basin that is a CTM challenge and we see all these beautiful basins over here yeah. and you're creating a basin, why that? Um, we just wanted to, 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 to use the sun in a different spin and in a different way and so besides um, putting it on a wall or on the floor, to try to create something with the tile and, and, and see how that goes. So I can see the look you were going for, the serene look, and I can see the use of the blues coming through. The only comment I would have around the space utilization is I, I can see you went for the elevated look, but I just think the practicality of the bathtub and the space you have getting in and out might be a challenge. <laughs> And I just feel the back wall, you could have probably tiled it. I know it was intended to be a texture wall. It hasn't quite come through, so I think just think about that next time. But overall, a good look, well done. Now, looking at your vanity, do you think it was worth the time and effort you put into that one item? Was it worth it in the grander scheme of things? It was a nice challenge for us and for so far um, how it came out obviously it's not really 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 to the detail of what we really wanted but I think it came out the idea is there the concept is there I think it's quite clear but obviously yeah I think it was um, it was worth it for us because um, our design skills actually came through and uh, it was you know it was visible I hope <laughs> I think if you make it into the next round you got to just consider your time management absolutely yeah. and think about the overall look and don't spend too much of time on one item yeah. that can hamper the rest Absolutely. of the look. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we challenged ourselves and we had to be on our toes 24 seven. But um, we did this, that, and we came up with what we came up with and we were really proud of ourselves. It was an amazing journey. <laughs> it's been great. 
Yashna and Alyssa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I brought the judges here specifically so that you can tell your story about your bathroom design. We try to incorporate a spa sanctuary bathroom with contemporary design. So we really tried to modernize it with the black and white subway tiles and um, still keep with the natural feel with the bamboo elements and the wooden shelves. And then also more modern finishes with the black tafts and the black sandware. We've also used a natural kind of finish when it came to our tiles, concrete and that wood look to feel a little bit more like you're outdoors. We opted for the black and white tile because we didn't want something directly off of the CTM shelf. We wanted to be a little bit innovative when it came to our tiling pattern, so we actually used two different types of tiles and we came up with this amazing pattern to be the feature of our space. So I see you've gone for the biophilia trend, which you've mixed up with the geometric trend. So I think that comes together quite nicely. I also like the use of the, the wood and the foliage to create that outdoor look. Also with the flooring, the wooden flooring that brings it all together. Maybe the herringbone black and white could be a bit too strong. But I think overall you've really created a good look and I love the way you've brought it all together. So Thank well done. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. And I also like the way that because it's a spa experience, you've gone for the sensory experience with the smells and the rubs and the scrubs. So it is really creating a spa-like feel. <laughs> Your work's officially done. It's up to the judging and uh, I'm just going to wish you good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> Well, judges, can you believe it? A scintillating end and Cape Town definitely delivered. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but I was pretty impressed. Scintillating indeed. I think uh, it's quite interesting to see the, the mix of uh, designs and aesthetics that come through from uh, Cape Town. So I think it's going to make for an interesting uh, judging in terms of the final four uh, design duos, but something we're definitely looking forward to. Yeah. And I think what was important was to see the people who'd planned and then brought through their planning into the execution, got their hands dirty and made Absolutely. it happen in the time frame. Cape Town has shown us what they've got and the judges have a lot to think about. But this is only the beginning. We still have four design duos to showcase their talent to our judging panel. Joburg, we're coming for you. I hope you're ready. Let us know which bathroom design is your favorite and you could win 5,000 Rand cash from Capitec. To enter, reply to the competition post on the My Design Rules social platforms and include hashtag Capitec and hashtag My Design Rules. My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Another feel-good production.